Welcome to the tutorial, Semantic Gaze Mapping, using the right reference views for more efficient mapping. I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your data by using the right type of reference view. You may have already asked yourself questions such as, what should I consider before mapping? Can I use anything other than screenshots from the scene video? What if my relevant scenes don't fit on one reference view? In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate the various types of reference views you can use and when you should use them. Before starting to map, you need to address two questions. First, which parts of the video are relevant for my analysis? You should scan your videos and look for the scenes that are relevant for your analysis and only map those scenes. Then ask what type of analysis results are needed. If you need scan path type of analysis, such as a scan path, or bee swarm, you'll want to use precise mapping on a screenshot or photo. You can still use all of the other analysis types, but having this precise mapping will let you be on the safe side, even though it takes more time to map. If you only need KPI, AOI sequence, binning chart, or statistics, you can use AOI mapping. This will be easier and faster to map. I'll show you this in a minute. AOI mapping creates the visualizations on a realistic reference view, and label mapping on abstract images or words. Note that when you've used AOI mapping or label mapping, your scan path analysis may be imprecise. Once you've answered these questions, you'll want to check the accuracy of the gaze cursor. You may need to do offset correction. If the gaze cursor seems to be shifted in one direction over the course of the relevant part of the data, go to the scan path, right click on it, select offset correction, then click on the point where the gaze should be at that moment. This will move the point and all subsequent gaze data by the amount you shifted it. To use the precise mapping method, you can use a high resolution photo that you've prepared in advance. This will give you the best picture quality for your analysis report. To upload the photo, I'll click on add new reference view from file and select the folder where I saved it. Now you can begin mapping fixations to precise points on your reference view. This precise mapping method will give you the data you need to generate a highly detailed heat map or a scan path. In most cases, you won't need to map to such precise points. You just need to know if the participant was looking anywhere within an area of interest. In this case, begin by going to the AOI editor and defining the areas of interest on the reference image first. First, select a shape, then click and drag to draw like this. Then provide a name for the new area of interest. As you go through mapping fixation points, you just need to click somewhere inside the AOIs that we defined. You don't need to hit the exact spot where the participant was looking, just somewhere in the AOI area. AOI mapping is a common way to map fixation points and provides a fast and efficient workflow. Sometimes, however, the stimulus you're using isn't straightforward to map. For example, imagine you're tracking the gaze of someone driving a car. You want to know how often the driver looks in the mirror, at the dashboard, and at the road ahead. If the driver looks over at a passenger or at a passing car, you don't care about mapping that data. For your reference view, you could take a panoramic photo showing the left and right mirrors, the dashboard, and the road ahead, but some important areas, like the horizon, could be too small to map to, and the photo would likely include a lot of unneeded imagery. Instead, you could use a mix of AOI and label mapping. Simply create a diagram in PowerPoint or any drawing program. Just make sure to save it as an image and use that for your reference view with just the key areas of interest defined. Or you could even create an image of just areas with labels and map to that. After you've saved the image, upload it as a reference view and then proceed in the same way as in AOI mapping, drawing AOIs and then mapping to them. 
This approach could also be useful if, for example, you don't have one real-world reference view that contains all views, and you only want to use one reference view, like if you're tracking a person's interaction with packaging. These last two mapping methods, mapping to AOIs and mapping to a diagram or labels, provide you with the data you need for rich statistics or KPI analysis. To summarize, in this tutorial, we've seen different ways of mapping gaze data to reference views. Precise mapping, AOI, and label mapping. Looking for rich heat maps and scan paths? You'll want to choose precise mapping. Or do you need statistics and KPIs? then AOI or label mapping would be better choices. We also talked about the right reference views to use, photorealistic images for precise mapping, or if you just need statistics, you can save a significant amount of time and effort using a more abstract reference view, maybe just containing labels or categories. This concludes our look at semantic gaze mapping in B-Gaze, using the right reference views for more efficient mapping. For more details, please contact support at smi.de.